Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video we are doing part three of my Christmas decorate with me. So if this is something you're interested in watching, please just keep on watching and if you are not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so this is part three of my Christmas decorate with me. We have already done all of these surfaces here downstairs, my sideboard, my console table. Part two was my Christmas tree mantle. Now part three is going to be my kitchen. And I also showcase a really fun DIY utilizing the birch trees that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. So if this is something you are interested in watching, please just keep on watching. And if you guys are just clicking on this video, my take on my Christmas decor this year is a little bit untraditional. I did it a very less is more approach. My color schemes here are a little bit of your neutral colors, your creams, your browns, your taupes with pops of burgundy. I leaned into a lot of texture. I leaned into a lot of simple elements like utilizing ornaments and greenery to really showcase the season. I absolutely love my space. I love how it makes me feel when I walk in the door. Hopefully my videos are stemming some creativity when it comes to decorating your own place. But again, this is just gonna showcase my kitchen area. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. First stop is we are starting in my kitchen. I am removing all of my fall decor and giving it a good clean before starting to decorate for my winter and holiday decor. I really did love how I had this set up for fall, so I'm keeping it pretty simple, changing out a couple things, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty similar. From here, I'm going to reapply my cutting boards. I use Velcro and Museum Wax to help keep my cutting boards from coming off my backsplash. And then I'm just reapplying those same cooking books, Kinfold Comb and Homebody, right next to my stove there. On top of it, I'm adding a vintage marble mortar with some of my garlic and my brass pepper grinders. I'm then adding a vintage pot that I got from an antique shop with some green pine in there. And then I didn't show it on camera, but I ended up adding some pussy willows to this arrangement to just add a little bit of texture and added color to this arrangement. These pussy willows are actually from my fall decor. So these are stems that I purchased from the everyday section of Hobby Lobby. For the next corner of my kitchen, I'm adding this large shapati that I got from Restoration Hardware. And on top of that, I'm having my utensil crock, which is just a vintage vessel that I got from San Diego with all of my utensils in here. And then I'm adding Magnolia Home Cooking Book as well as my olive oil and salt cellar that I got from Amazon. I'm then placing just a beautiful decorative hand towel right there over the edge of my shapati. And then I'm adding these two layering cutting boards that I purchased from my sister's shop just to kind of mask this outlet to the left of it. And to add the little holiday factor, I'm adding in this little cute reindeer that I got from Home Goods last year. I did tie a little burgundy ribbon around its neck just for some extra holiday cheer. And for the last corner of my kitchen, I'm adding two of these vintage pots that I got from an antique shop here in San Diego. I love styling with them, especially these two because they're just a little bit different in size, adding a little bit of visual interest and dimension. Behind them, I'm styling with two cutting boards that I got from Target. And then in front of that, I'm doing a vintage marble dish that I paired with some moss, a vintage cowbell, and a really beautiful burning candle from a local here in San Diego. Oh, 
And then to kick off the holiday season, I did my first simmer pot for the winter season. I did a mixture of orange slices, apple, cinnamon, rosemary, nutmeg, and a little bit of vanilla, and I'm telling you, my home smell amazing. I then picked myself up a new runner for my kitchen. This is from Kathy Co. I absolutely love the colors of this rug. I love the pattern of it and I think it ties everything really nicely with the accents that I have within my kitchen as well as it really does play off of the other burgundy colors for the holiday season. Moving on to my kitchen island decor, I'm grounding the space with this oversized extra large footed cutting board that I came across at Home Goods one day. On top of that, I'm placing my newest vase that I got from Kathy Co. This is actually the sister of the large vase that I got during the fall time that it lives in my dining room area. I absolutely love its terracotta coloring and its unique shape. Within the vase, I have a mixture of different greens. I have eucalyptus, I have cypress and thistle, just giving this really three-dimensional style with lots of texture and great coloring. The two brass trees are from Target last year. And then I also have a vintage marble bowl that I have some dried pomegranates with a little bit of greenery. The next element is a DIY that I knew that I wanted to do with these birch trees. These are from Hobby Lobby and I purchased a four foot and a five foot for crazy price, but I knew that they weren't the best quality, but I had a vision for what I wanted to do with them. So I'm stuffing them both into two different size vintage pots and then I'm placing Spanish moss and regular moss right on top of them. My plan is to set these at the end of my hallway just before you enter my bedroom. And I'm telling you guys, I love how this came out. Let me know if you guys love it as well and if you can see the vision now come full circle. Right, guys and that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this part three christmas decorate with me i hope you are enjoying the series thus far but before you go please be sure to like comment and subscribe if you know to hit that bell button for every time i upload a video it helps my channel a ton and it makes sure you never miss a video when i load but until next time i love you guys so much happy holidays and we'll see you then peace